okay today we are talking about the anatomy structure of little little's area okay the anatomy of little's area at first let's make a diagram this is a nasal septum okay there is a ethmoidal bone or ethmoidal sinus place and this is a sphenoid sphenoid sinus okay and here is a frontal sinus and here is a maxilla bone palatine all right okay now let's go blood supply for little area first blood supply is supplied by internal carotid artery which first branch is a ophthalmic branch ophthalmic artery ophthalmic artery give the two branches one is a anterior ethmoidal artery and the second is a posterior ethmoidal artery anterior ethmoidal artery come forward towards the nasal septums towards the vestibule and posterior ethmoidal also give from the posteriorly and another blood supply is carried out by external carotid artery external carotid artery first branches is a facial artery facial artery and facial artery give the superior labial artery and superior labial artery give the septal branch septal branch branch towards this vestibule towards the nasal septums then external carotid artery give another branches is a maxillary artery maxillary artery maxillary artery gives one branches to greater palatine artery this greater palatine artery also goes towards the nasal septums and maxillary artery give the another branch branches of branches of sphenu palatine artery sphenu palatine artery this actually give from behind and this one also gives one septal branches towards the nasal septums so this area where these all four arteries are anastomosis with each others one is anterior ethmoid artery second is a septal branch of spano palatine artery another is a greater palatine artery and septal branch of superior labial artery this area this area this area it's called as a little's area and there is four arteries four arteries okay four arteries first arteries is a anterior ethmoidal artery second is a second is a septal branch septal branch of superior labial artery which is the branch of facial artery and third is a greater palatine artery and greater palatine artery is a branches of maxillary artery and the third is a fourth is a septal branches of septal branch of spano palatine artery spano palatine artery these four arteries these four artery makes anastomos with each others okay and make the vascular plexus vascular plexus which is also called as a castle beds castle beds plexus so this area okay this little area that's why the uh, this place is called little area and this little area actually is a uh, situated anterior inferior part of nasal septum nasal septum just above the vestibule 
vestibule because this is the site for the vestibule and just above this vestibule anterior inferior part of the nasal septum this part is called as a little area where four arteries first is anterior ethmoidal artery second is a septal branch of superior labial artery and the third is a greater palatine artery and the fourth is a the septal branch of spino palatine artery these are anastomos with each other and make the plexus vascular plexus which are which is called as a castle batch plexus why i am talking about this little area and why it is important because this little area is the site where 90 percent of epitaxis epitaxis occur 90 percent 90 percent of epitaxis 90 percent of epitaxis occur at the site of little area where it is also called as a anterior epitaxis so what is epitaxis epitaxis means bleeding from inside the nose this is epitaxis means bleeding from the inside the nose it's called epitaxis and anterior epitaxis because this little area lies in the anterior inferior part of the nasal septums and wh which is the most common place for epitaxis for a bleeding so this epitaxis is a uh, this little area is very important to diagnose and to find out this anatomical structure for the treatment as well as also so